Hi friends. This is a story called Socrates. It's one of my favorite stories. My mom used to read it to me when I was a little kid, and now I read it to baby Margot, and it's become one of her favorite stories too. And I'm excited to share it with you today. It's written by Rascal and Gert Bogarts, and they also did the artwork. Socrates. Socrates was an orphan. His parents had been snatched up by the dog catcher and taken to the pound, leaving Socrates to live alone on the streets. He dreamed of a home other than his cardboard box, and more than anything else, Socrates dreamed of having a friend. He looked to the other street dogs for company, but they just snarled and growled. They wouldn't share their scraps, and Socrates was left to rummage through garbage cans on his own. It seemed to Socrates that he was always alone. Every night he wandered the streets, wagging his tail at passers-by, hoping that one of them would take him home. But the people just looked the other way. Poor thing, some of them would mutter, but they always kept their eyes on the ground. Then, one day, as Socrates was scouring the streets for something to eat, he found the most curious thing. Sniff, sniff. Socrates examined this new thing. Sniff, sniff. It certainly wasn't something to eat. Sniff, sniff. Socrates discovered the thing fit his nose perfectly. Perhaps this will help, thought Socrates, and then he went on his way. Socrates stepped inside the flower shop. For the first time, no one chased him away. The florist took a look at him and gave a friendly laugh. Then he gave Socrates a quick pat on the head. Socrates thought the flowers looked brighter than they ever had before. Next, Socrates went to the toy shop. The toy owner smiled and said, here you go, boy. Then he handed Socrates a bit of his sandwich. The toys seemed to be smiling too. Socrates could hardly believe his eyes. All day, Socrates roamed the streets. Everywhere he went, there were smiles, pats on the head, and treats. Extraordinary, thought Socrates, when he looked at his reflection. This thing on my nose must be magical. As the day ended, Socrates heard music, and when he turned the corner, he found the music maker. The musician looked at Socrates. Hey there, friend, he said, giving Socrates a pat. The musician squinted at Socrates and said, I see you found my glasses, and a good thing, too. I can't see a thing without them. If you hadn't come along, I'd never have been able to find my way home. The musician laughed, and he stretched his hand out towards Socrates. Socrates pulled back. What? he thought. Give back this magical thing? This thing that had helped him find food? This thing that had made him so many friends? Then Socrates looked at the musician. He imagined him wandering blindly through the streets, looking for his home. He imagined him hungry. Slowly, Socrates stepped forward. The musician took the glasses. Then he gave Socrates a strong pat. Thanks, fella, he whispered. A good friend like you deserves a special treat. Let's go home and cook up some dinner. And then Socrates knew that he had indeed found something magical after all, a friend. The end. I just love that story and I hope that you liked it too. And I look forward to sharing another story with you again soon.